to my let's play on Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES. Uh, I'm the old world gamer and today we're going to take on world 2 which is the desert, sand, whatever. Love the music here. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Just listen to the bass, it's awesome. Anyways, um, let's see, what are we going to show today? I guess I'll just, you know, do my my usual run through the level, show you guys uh, how, how I play, basically play the game. And the sand levels are kind of fun, and I am going to finish every world, so you're not going to miss anything in case you ever want to, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe there's something you wanted to do. Whee! Look at that. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, I finally got some time off to uh, do, well, not time off, but I got a bit of extra time so I can actually go ahead and do some more LPs and get some more of my videos that's uh, been a pretty slow past two weeks, I believe, so... So I've been looking forward to it, and uh, go get some blue coins. Unfortunately, they're not worth the five points they are in the later Mario games, but whatever. And there we go. And you can use your tail and hit that little fire dude. They're uh, they're not invincible. You know, you can kill them without a star. Come back here. I'm gonna go and get a free man. Don't really need that uh, extra leaf. I mean, what am I gonna do? Be more raccoonish? I don't know if that's really a word. Raccoonish? Kind of sounds like a, I don't know, a, a Samoan wrestler or something. Oh no! It's raccoonish! Anyways. <laughs> Wee! Fun. I love doing. Uh, I love flying while you're crouched down. It looks funny. And we're gonna get into this last pipe. And yeah, there's not really much to this P block or POW block or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Power block. You know, whatever. Other than turn those coins, in, or turn those blocks and coins that were there, but I mean, I don't know. There we go, got a mushroom, so maybe I'll try and get all the mushrooms. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of pointless there, whatever. Listen to the music. Awesome. Yeah, might as well try for this again. Yeah, we know, Toad. We're gonna line these up, or we're gonna hopefully line these up, and. Nope. Pressing the bun buttons ra uh, randomly is not working for me today. Oh, and this is the level that if you can complete it properly, you can get the white toad house to get the um, the anchor the, for the airship. So it doesn't move anywhere on you. Um, so yeah, this one's a little more difficult. There's a, uh, a hidden one up here somewhere, and I can't remember where it's to. I think I just passed it, to be quite honest, and uh, I'm pretty sure I fucked this up already. Yeah, I probably did. The hardest part of it is getting to the end on time to get the last, I think it's like, blocks. Of, those blocks right there, those are so hard to get at in, in the end for uh, the coins and Jesus. Okay, I'm um, already reduced to, you know, Super Mario. Ah, damn it. And I couldn't crouch down below there. Let's try not to die this time anyways. Uh, there should be a power block there. Oh, nice. That was a coin. That's good. Oh, my God. Get on the platform, Mario. Jesus. <laughs> and let's get rid of that turtle. Hit the power block. And, yeah, this is... I've done it wrong because if I had the raccoon suit, uh, it, it would be a little bit easier. Because I could have gotten the one-up already. And uh, I could have let the pow... That's what you're supposed to do. You let the pow uh, come up or whatever. And you let your block that you're traveling on... Uh, go so far ahead of you so that you can hit the pad, jump, and use your, uh, there we go, nice, not a mushroom. Then you can use your, uh, tail to float back onto the platform, get the rest of your coins, and then you can run and jump and get the last four, and unfortunately, of course, I lost my raccoon suit. Wow, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> so anyways, but now we're in the fortress, and this is the first time you see Thwomps. The first introduction to Thwomps in the game. Or in the Mario series, I should say. And, uh, yeah, and they continue to be in the Mario series for quite some time. They're a fairly popular, uh, character in the games, just like the Boos are. <laughs> Boos. And we're gonna go over here so it doesn't go out on the spikes. And 
run past here as quickly as you can. You don't have to wait for them to drop down. And I'm going to try and uh, not get to where I'm supposed to go. And, yeah. It's a great start on the fortress. <laughs> so, it's another death for me. I think that's, what, two now? So that's pretty shitty. One for each world, maybe. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no other secrets in this fortress. There's no, like, you know, special whistles like there was in the first one or anything like that, so... Again, we're just gonna zip on through here as quickly as we can. Don't wanna get hit by the swamp. Make sure the boo doesn't follow us too far. Ugh. Would've been nice to have uh, firepower here, actually. I like killing the... I don't know what the hell that dude's called not anymore. Um, he kinda looks like a Koopa, really. But uh, I guess he's not, but anyways, or even a, uh, like a hammer brother with a shell or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I like killing them with the firepower, because, I mean, why not? So, this time I'm not going to show off or anything, I'm just going to take my time. Uh, get through the there, there we go. And make sure none of those ghosts follow me. And get in through the door as quickly as possible. And I'm going to jump the shit out of this guy. And last one. There we go. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I screwed around too much in the first time. It's my own damn fault. As usual. Oh, nice. We got an end card. Hopefully this time I'll get a few more uh, correct answers. Oh, ten going. Okay. Twenty. Oh, damn it. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that's where it was last time. Uh, mushroom. Oh. So at least I know where the star is now. And we're gonna go through this pipe here. Like, Why are you going in that pipe? Well, I don't know. Well, if I ever get up through the pipe, I can get to the mushroom house rather than backtracking there, which is not, I don't know. Is it faster? Uh, I mean, if anyone wants to time it, go ahead, but uh, it's not really worth caring about. I just like using the pipe. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Mario loves his mushrooms and his pipes. <laughs> so we'll go into uh, level three. You got more of these jumping uh, fire guys coming after you. And more of them, at least, again, you can hit them. They're not invincible, so. And we're going to do a little run here and start flying. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough. Yeah, backtrack a little bit. And... Ooh, and ninja. Mm, I can go on his little tail. I can go on. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Let me hit this P block. And here we go. Get the extra. Oh, damn it. Yeah, there we go. Got an extra free man. Not like I need him, really. And now we have a shit ton of. Uh, what are they called? Oh, shit. Oh, blocks back there now. There we go. <laughs> And this is uh, one of the more fun parts of uh, this world. Oh, damn it. I want this guy to get popped by one of the shells in a second. There we go. And just jump and wait. As soon as that uh, pipe is uncovered. Well, actually, as soon as the Koopa is... Uh, there we go. Is that? And there goes the little Goomba dude that was hidden away in the block, jumping around. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they thought of that, eh? Like, hey, let's put a little tiny Goomba in a block. And there we go. That's how you get your uh, three mushrooms. You can run, and if you wait until you're just about to the middle of the card, you turn around and jump at the same time, and you'll always get a mushroom. And also, truth be known here, if you can, if you have a, f uh, a raccoon suit or something, you can grab the um, one of the Koopa Troopas here, like one of those, and hit him before he actually starts moving, before you get to the tornado. So, uh, you can actually defeat this on lo oh, shit. long before uh, he actually starts moving. Ah, oh, there we go. We still got another mushroom. But uh, he will come back eventually, so. Just best to run and jump, run and jump, run and jump. Yeah. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. There we go. Ta da! More mushrooms. I never used items in the box, hardly ever. Like, I don't know. 
I always keep a P wing for uh, World 8. Oh, I forgot about this. And uh, yeah, this is one of the, again, one of the fun levels. So you're gonna grab this shell, get on this. And there we go. That's the easiest way to get that mushroom rather than to stand up on one of those pedestals and. Uh, oh shit, there we go. And fuck. Yeah, get up on one of those pedestals and. and yeah, I'm just gonna die. If you get up on one of those pedestals and um, kick one of the shells down and then try to jump down for a mushroom, it's gonna be much more difficult. So it's easier just to grab hold of the shell and bring it with you and stand on the block. And you'll see why I want to, uh, why I died <laughs> intentionally. Here, I want to get the leaf here and screw that. You do a run and you jump. Oh my God! Look, it's an escape pod. It's a secret area. And I got really excited, and oh, it's been a while since I played. Where is the P block? Uh, get away from me, stupid blooper! Or not blooper fish? Yeah. Oh damn it! It's not one of those. Um, must be one of the first ones here. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. It's it's one of those three right here. And whoa! On a flying fish. Uh, well, they're not flying fish either, because they don't fly on this one. Um, damn it, I can't remember their fucking names. But anyways, yeah, that was a bit of a waste of a P-block. I uh, pretty much fucked around and didn't get any extra coins or anything, so... we backtrack a bit, get all these coins. That's the fun thing about this one. It's, this is all just fun up here. It's just, here's some coins, get them. Oh shit, I fucked that up too. I'm out, Mario. Mm, all kinds of something. There we go. Pass con. What? Oh, yeah, it's not Super Mario World, though. If it was. Look at this. Isn't this fun? Just bring the turtles with you. Whoa! Haha. <laughs> yeah, got gotcha. you. And you don't want to break too many of these blocks. How should be? Damn it! Yeah. Man, I am. Oh my god! I was okay. It's a good thing I didn't check that other one. Shit! I again, I wasted a lot of the blocks that were supposed to be coins. And I just did it with another. I mean, again, I don't really need the coins. I don't really need the free man. I have 27 right now. I've died twice. I'm not, you know, doing horrible for uh, extra lives or anything. There we go, another mushroom. Hmm. We got two. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing. You can get a hammer in this uh, world that uh, one of those Hammer Brothers, and a lot of people thought, oh, I'll just use it there before the little spade house thing. Oh, oh poor little beetle, get out of here, little guy. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, you don't use that to get a shortcut to the fucking spade house. Instead, you keep it for the top um, top right corner of the map where, where it looks like it's, you know, just the corner of a map and there's nowhere to go. Um, you actually use the hammer there and break the little rock that's there and you will find a frog suit and uh, the third whistle. But again, I'm not using any whistles, so I could care less. Um, yeah, this should be alright. Now, up here is a, another free man. There we go. I don't really care about getting the free man because I'll let's see. There we go. I'll get it regardless. So that was all right. A few more uh, coins. Another free man. One up. Whatever you want to call it. Extra life. Lives. Yeah, whatever. And uh, ooh, oh, I guess I should try for getting another mushroom. Should I? Yeah, might as well. Oh shit. I've uh, done it a bit too late there. Which is fine, at least I don't gotta waste more time with oh yeah, let's do some fireworks of a big old mushroom and Jesus. This is what I usually use my uh, the stars that I get when I beat some of these, you know, things. I mean it's the easiest thing to beat the any of the, you know, boomerang and hammer brother type dudes. You know, just throw a star on and... Oh, shit. 
stupid fucking directional pad. I just used another fucking uh, leaf. So that was a waste. At least it wasn't a P-Wing or something. Shit. See, and that's what I was talking about before. That's why I didn't want to get any of the whistles. Because if that would have been a whistle, I would have just blown it. And I would have went to the next set of stages, which would have been bullshit. And I would have been pretty pissed off. Yeah, that rock up there in the corner, that's where you use your hammer in order to break that. And you can get over to uh, a frog suit and a set of hammer brothers that are actually throwing fireballs instead of hammers. They spit them. Same way that Mario does. And uh, once you beat them, their little prize is a, uh, is a whistle. Yeah, sorry for being the uh, Department of Redundancy Department um, <laughs> by telling you about the whistle a couple times, but I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I pointed it out a little better than I did. And I'm pretty sure there might be just like a couple of secrets in this stage. And I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking there's one straight up above me, but I, if there is, I'm not going to really care or bother with it because uh, I can't really kill those dudes. And, well, the other one is much easier to get to. Destroy these blocks and make sure you have a raccoon suit, obviously. And destroy some blocks. Why, Mary? Goddamn. And oh, yeah, there's a uh, little feather or feather. Jesus, I'm playing too much Mario World. There's a little leaf in there that you can grab. But yeah, I like to fly right here. There's some coins back there, but who really gives a fuck? Come in here, grab some coins. There's a pile. <laughs> that one's easy to remember. I, I remember that one. Jump up again, and I believe one of those is either a free man or another feather, or fuck, leaf. Yeah, that one's the leaf, so who cares about that for now? Let's, uh, I almost got them all, it was alright. Yeah, another leaf. And you get spit out right there, and, well, I think you could run and jump there, I'm not 100% sure, but. Okay, there we go, we're pretty good. And we got a star this time. So I guess I can try and get all stars or... I sh you know what? Maybe I should stop trying to do that just so I... Uh, oh, nice. The end card again. I could stop doing that so I can... Uh, you know, cut down on time. Wasted. There we go. We got the stars this time. Now, what else are we going for? Oh, mushroom. What the hell was that? Nice. Okay. Oh, dang coins. Ah. Uh, flower. What? Yeah, okay, good. Ah, another flower. Okay, well, I know where the ten coins are. That's good. <laughs> I just gotta find a flower, and I gotta find... Uh, ooh, there should be a free man there, yeah. Oh, well, there's a uh, toad spazzing out, and the king's transformed into a spider. So, let's uh, hop aboard this new airship. Ooh, look at a purple background, and the airship's even like a, a bluish... Like, what was it? Like cyan or whatever fucking weird color that you call that? Cyan, like fucking. I don't know if it's blue or if it's fucking red. I swear a little bit more. Fuck. It's funny, I find that usually the airships are probably easier than the rest of the fucking game. Uh, uh, of the world that they're, you know, based in. I don't know. I've played all these a lot. I've played a lot of Mario growing up. And, ooh, nice. I can beat the shit out of him, hopefully, with uh, some fireballs instead this time. And I think this one's Morton Van... Or, Morton Van Koopa. It's uh, Morton Koopa, I mean. Jesus. And, uh... Thankfully, he doesn't, uh... He doesn't rock the stage around like some of his bigger cousins do, so... Or cousins, Jesus, brothers and sisters, well, there's only one sister, Wendy Okuba, <laughs> there he is, and I'm gonna try my, oh, damn, I was, gonna, I was saying, uh, I'm gonna try my best to kill him, fuck, with just uh, firepower, but it's really hard sometimes, oh, cocksucker, yeah, okay, I guess that's the end of that. Yeah, at least I got the uh, wand further up on the screen like I like to do. But, uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was a pretty quick, uh, like, what, 20 minutes to finish World 2? That wasn't too bad. I died, what, once? And again, not too bad. So, uh, well, there's Toad blowing himself, and 
The king here kind of looks like, I don't know, George Washington or something. I don't know. Uh, he looks like someone famous, familiar-ish. I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. And, yeah, oh, Goomba Shoe. That's fun. And the jewel that she gave me this time is a marshmallow or a cloud. With Actually, when you use it, you can skip over a level. So uh, it is useful, but not in this uh, Let's Play because I'm not skipping any levels. So... And this is Waterworld, the home of Wendy Okupa. And uh, we're going to uh, stop here for today, and I will continue on uh, in the next video. So uh, I am the Old World Gamer. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, favorite, share, comment, do whatever to show some support. See you guys later.